Hi, Nikki. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? Interestingly enough, my name is Dan as well. Uh, I like your, uh, your 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 food hall vlogs. I come by every once in a while to see your see what you're doing on your channel, and I see you also on um, I think is it uh, Berry Life and uh, Stra Strawberry Seventeen. Or I can't remember what the what the channel name is, but uh, you, I've seen you on her channel and every every now and again. In interesting stuff. I, I like the grocery hauls. Um, I find it interesting that, that it's aimed towards uh, eating healthy in terms of healthy junk food. But I was wondering if uh, maybe um, you might think about this in terms of if you're going to be doing the uh, uh, the, the, the sort of these lifestyle uh, choices in terms of uh, how you eat, whether or not you would consider uh, actually doing a... Um, uh, not every, every every time, but a series that sort of adds to the uh, grocery hauls. Uh, how much when you go to these do these grocery grocery hauls? How much do you actually spend in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of this would sort of give an idea to people in terms of their accessibility. How much they would be looking at spending if they were doing, let's say, buying organic as opposed to non-organic, and if you notice any health benefits uh, from one to the other. Uh, uh, that's kind of one thing, one, one avenue you could sort of look at if you don't mind doing that. Um, the other is um, whether or not you would consider, uh, if you're trying this at all, to do uh, when you buy something that's prepared or prepackaged, whether or not you would consider going and trying to make this from scratch. In other words, uh, don't buy it prepared. Buy the uh, the raw ingredients and make it yourself, uh, and see how one compares to the other. Because the more stuff is prepackaged, the more unhealthy it is. Even though it's organic and labeled healthy, the more prepackaged, the more processing it goes through, uh, the less healthy it is. And so these are sort of things that you might want to consider in terms of uh, doing your house. They said these. I do enjoy them. Regardless, in terms of these are sort of just sort of uh, suggestions of what you might look at in the future in terms of if you're going to continue doing uh, these uh, grocery hauls, things that you might add into the hauls uh, to sort of make them sort of, uh, to sort of give them uh, an alternative to or, or, or alternative suggestions to one choice or another. In other words. Uh, some people don't have all the money that you would ne would be necessary to go in and buy uh, a lot of these uh, a lot of the organic stuff, and so the question is, uh, if you can make it from scratch, um, that might be a better alternative, and is, is to see if you could try it yourself. Being a chef, and, and, and ironically, doesn't necessarily require a lot of training. It just sort of uh, you have to have the uh, interest in creating food and the first time you start cooking there's always a bit a bit, bit of a challenge because <laughs> uh, it doesn't come out good the first few times but as you keep going on and trying out different things and the more you cook the better you get at it this is what I learned from my grandmothers and my uh, my aunts and uh, and the people that I grew up with in the immigrant community is that they they learn from their parents they learn from their mothers uh, how to cook and there's no measurements or anything. They just they, they, you taste this, you put this in. You know, there's a lot of variation in it. And this is something that you, I think, if you want to do these, continue these grocery hauls, that you might sort of want to put in there to see to see, you know, um, uh, as sort of a, an interesting twist or <laughs> options to this. Anyways, it was nice seeing you. Uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. See you on YouTube. Bye.